This is the Infinix Hot 30i, the successor of last year's Hot 20i. There is so much to talk about on the Hot 30i because it comes with great specs that are not popular among the Hot i devices, yet it maintains a modest price. Like the Hot 20i, the 30i comes in two variants, the Hot 30i and the Hot 30i NFC. Now let's take a look at their prices. 85,000 Naira for the 30i and 95,000 Naira for the Hot 30i NFC. The main difference between them is that the 30i has 4GB of RAM, while the NFC variant has 8GB of RAM, and of course, it does support NFC as the name suggests. At the time of making this video, the NFC variant has not been made officially available, so what I have here is the 85,000 Naira 4GB RAM variant. This is last year's Hot 20i, and this is the Hot 30i. In this video, we will find out the differences between them and see just how much upgrade you can find on the Hot 30i. Let's run a quick comparison. Hot 20i comes with 4GB of RAM, Helio A22 and G25 for the two variants, a 10 watt not so fast charger, a USB 2.0 port, a 13 megapixel red camera, and a 5000 mAh battery. Hot 30i, on the other hand, comes with 4GB of RAM, a UMS 9230 T606 processor, an 18W fast charger, a USB Type-C port, a 13 megapixel rear camera, and 5000 mAh battery. Now, the major differences between them so far are their CPU type, their charger, and the USB charging port. Then, one other major difference between them is that the Hot 30i comes with a side fingerprint, while the Hot 20i comes with a back fingerprint. Inside the Hot 30i packaging box, you get the phone. It has almost the same camera setup as the phones in the Techno Spark 10 series. There is the same eject pin here too. Then a flexible protective case, an 18 watt fast charger, a USB Type-C cable, and an earpiece. If you're wondering if the speaker is loud enough, this is an audio sound test from the speaker. This phone has so much in common with the Techno Spark 10C. They both have the same shining back, the same CPU type, and almost the same price. Maybe my next video is going to be a comparison video between the Techno Spark 10C and the Infinix Hot 30i. Let me know if that will make a good comparison video. I know what you are thinking. In my previous video, I promised to compare the Techno Spark 10C with the phone that has the most comments in that video. And it happened that the Redmi Note 12C has the most comments and I'm yet to make that comparison video. At this time, I'm yet to get the Redmi Note 12C, but once I get it, I promise to make that comparison video. So why you should be expecting a comparison video between the Techno Spark 10C and the Redmi Note 12C also keep on the lookout for a comparison video between the Techno Spark 10C and the Infinite Hot 30i. Looking at the design, the Hot 30i comes in four colors, mirror black, glacier blue, diamond white, and marigold. What I have with me is the mirror black, my favorite of all the colors. This diamond-like pattern at the back is more detailed in this color. Anyways, liking this video is one way of telling me, keep going! So like this video and also subscribe to this channel. There are a few more things I like about this design, and the first one is how Infinix managed to maintain a simple design in the camera section that houses the 13 megapixel main camera, the secondary camera, and the flashlight. I also love the fine curves at the four corner edges as well. All the cutouts are in their normal positions. What surprises me the most is how this 5000 mAh powered phone can maintain a light weight of 190 gram. This design is far from perfect because both the frame and the body, including this mirror back, are made out of plastic material and not actual glass, but it is definitely worth the price. I don't think that it could have been any way better than this. If we also compare it with the Hot 20i, you will agree that this is a huge jump in design. This design is a yes for me. Since the Hot 20i and 30i have the same 13 megapixel rear camera, it's quick to expect the same quality from them. But since the Hot 30i has a better processor, it's only reasonable to expect the best picture and video footages from it. This is a side-by-side -side comparison of some of the pictures from both phones. And you can tell that there is a little difference between them, despite the fact that they were taken with the same 13 megapixel camera sensor. The difference in pictures you see here is based on their processor, and since the processor must render the image from the camera, we can say that it has a very important role in the quality of pictures and videos. 
Both phones have the same 8 megapixel front camera and the narrative is just the same as the back camera. That the Hot 30i camera is better than the Hot 20i camera does not mean that I'm satisfied with it. In fact, it is rather disappointing. The quality is not up to what I would normally expect from a device of this price. Maybe a 16 megapixel sensor might have done the magic. But what I do know is that the Hot 30i deserves a better rear camera. Mainly looking at these pictures, you might think that I'm being unnecessarily critical with this camera, but this is what you should understand. When making a review videos, I usually choose the best scene within my reach under good lighting, sometimes using studio light. Now let's take these conditions away and see what we get. I'm just saying things the way they are. The picture quality is low for a device of this price. It also has a 4x zooming scale, which is not so bad. But the rate at which it loses quality as you zoom is not alright at all. The bottom line is that you can't zoom far and even though you are caged within this zooming space, you still get to lose so much image quality. This is exactly the case with the slow motion mode as well. So it has a slow motion mode which is so exciting but then it gives a quality that is less than the quality you are already complaining about. Soon in the comment section, some of you will be like, what do you expect from a phone of this price? Infinix is looking for a way to cut edge now. Let me tell you, Technospark 10C is 88,000 Naira, a 3,000 Naira difference from the Infinix Hot 30i. Yet the quality of the slow motion video from this Infinix Hot 30i is nowhere near the Technospark 10C. Maybe I will talk more about that in their comparison video. The 9 mode seems to have a little impact on the brightness of images. But in some cases, it is mainly the background that gets brightened and not the main subject of the picture. I took some pictures at about 7pm when it was almost dark, yet the camera was able to render the scene so brightly and clearly than the way my eyes can actually see. The rear camera records at best 1080p videos at 30 frames per second. This rear camera is definitely not for me, actually a big red warning light. I can't even imagine how I look in this video right now. Why spend 85,000 Naira on a device with this camera when almost the same amount is enough to buy another device with a better camera? Accurate timekeeper, panel of judges. This is my little opinion. Moving on to the display, it comes with an IPS LCD with a resolution of 720 by 1612 pixels. Since all the phone manufacturers have entered into a secret meeting and agreed that no phone below 100,000 Naira should get a higher display resolution, how can I complain about the quality of this display? Anyways, this display is not even close to the word bad. It is actually a bright display of 500 nits, which is an upgrade from the 415 nits we usually get on displays of phones like the Hot 30i. Also consider the display bezels. It is neither too big nor too small. If the display is one of the things you want to consider before buying this device, I would just ask you to look for other features because there is no way you will get a device with better display for 85k. If you think there is a device in this price range with a better display that I am not aware of, please let me know in the comment section below so I can look into this. The 5000mAh battery could have been 6000 but we can live with it. What should be our main concern is that it comes with an 18W fast charger that takes about 1 hour 30 minutes or less to completely charge the battery. This is another major jump. Now, while I'm still a bit suspicious of the Unisoc T606 processor, it seems to me that it has some guts. It is actually better than the Helio P70, A22 and G25 processor in terms of performance. So you get this pretty fast response from the device. Apps open on time with no lagging or overheating. The sad truth is that even with its 4GB RAM plus the additional 4GB RAM from virtual memory, this phone will eventually slow down and lag even before you consume up to half of its 128GB storage. I was using Chrome to browse through the pictures of some flowers once, which is not a heavy task for the phone. And suddenly, Chrome just shut down on its own and I had to restart Chrome all over again. The difference between this phone and cheaper phones like the Technopop 7 Pro and the Infinix Smart 7 Plus is that this phone can hold a bit longer before exhibiting its true color, which is slow performance. So expect that initially, games will run smoothly and perfectly. In fact, as of this time, there are a few games on this phone and they load and run so fast that one could be tempted to buy this phone based on this surface performance. But more games and media files mean more trouble for the performance. In terms of browsing, this is a 4G device and you can expect nothing less than what 4G devices normally offer. So browsing is not a problem for this phone. 
With this big upgrade to the Hot 30i, I can only expect that the next upgrade to the Hot 40i will be so thrilling. That is if Infinix chose to call the next series Hot 40 series. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and see you in my next video.